Hey guys, welcome back to Team Tenslinger. My name is Peter, and today, I'm sorry I'm going to pronounce it wrong, we are looking at Zhang Pengmon. Uh, so, starting with our eggs, we're going to run four copies of the new Yokomon from EX6. When attacking, you can place one level 3 blue Digimon card from your hand as this Digimon's bottom Digivolution card. Uh, this is great because we do have access to the Jamming Beomon now, so we can basically guarantee jamming on our stack. And we're looking to play out a level 3 uh, in our stack, so we'll be able to fix our on-play effects for our level 3s uh, by intentionally tucking a Crabmon or a Gomamon uh, when we want that. So, really great egg for this deck. Uh, then we have three copies of BT14 Gomamon. Start of your main phase, trash any one Digivolution card of one of your opponent's Digimon. This Digimon can't be blocked for the turn. And then the Inheritable is when this Digimon would be deleted. You can play a Gomomon from its Digivolution cards without paying the cost. So it keeps our stack around. And this start of main phase is also going to synergize uh, really well uh, if you manage to tuck the uh, Beomon underneath with the Yokomon when attacking. Uh, you can basically make this Gomomon unblockable with jamming, and that feels really, really great. Then we have three copies of the BT7 Gomamon on play. When played from Digivolution cards, draw two. Uh, it, this can wind up being a generic draw two if you need to dig, dig for pieces, uh, which feels really great in this deck. Then we have four copies of EX3 Crabmon on play. One of your blue Digimon gets jamming for the turn. And then when played from a Digivolution cards, you can place a blue level five or lower Digimon card from your hand under that Digimon as its bottom Digivolution card. Uh, this is going to be really, really handy for fixing the Inheritables underneath our stack, uh, making sure we can get lots of checks in. Uh, and just getting jamming on something, again, is really, really strong in this deck. Uh, the Beomon does it, this card does it, and we're going to kind of make sure that we get lots of safe checks uh, with these cards. So I do quite like this in the deck. Then we have four copies of EX6 Beomon. It does have Blocker, so that is fantastic already. Just being able to play out the level 3s through our stack, we're going to be able to put a Blocker on board. And the Jamming Inheritable is just icing on the cake. This is a fantastic generic rookie for blue. Um, and we're going to be looking to play it out for free and tuck it uh, pretty frequently. Moving on to our champions, we have three copies of the EX3 Abidramon. On play, one of your blue Digimon gets Blocker until the end of your opponent's turn. When played from Digivolution cards, unsuspend that Digimon. Uh, so we can actually use this to get another check, uh, but the Blocker is also really, really nice for this card. So uh, three copies of it is fine. We also have Blocker on the Beomon, so we don't really need four. Then we have four copies of our EX6 Jikwaymon. Uh, on play, if played from Digivolution cards, gain one memory, uh, which is really nice. And then the Inheritable gives you jamming. Again, we're laying up those jamming Inheritables to make sure that our stack does not die when we swing. Then we have four copies of the promo Siegemon on play, and when Digivolving, one of your blue Digimon can't be deleted in battle until the end of your opponent's turn, uh, which is really great. And then your turn, when one of your effects plays another Digimon, one of your blue Digimon gets rushed for the turn. So we can actually give one of our level 3s, or potentially a level 5 rush, to get extra checks in with this card in our stack. Two cards of the BT-15 Mega Seedramon on play when Digivolving by placing one of your other blue Digimon as this Digimon's bottom Digivolution card. Return one of your opponent's Digimon whose level is less than or equal to the placed card's level on the bottom of the deck. The Inheritable is when attacking once per turn by placing one of your other blue Digimon as this Digimon's bottom Digivolution card. Unsuspend this Digimon. So we can get an extra check on our Jipang... J oh god, I can't say it. Uh, our big blue bird stack... Uh, by using this when attacking Inheritable, the on play and when Digivolving can also uh, catch people off guard if you have a way to remove a body based on what's sitting on board. Um, and I just like having the extra copies of this Inheritable uh, right next to our four copies of Juan Kunmon. Uh, so on play and when Digivolving, you're going to play a level 3 blue Digimon card from one of your blue Digimon's Digivolution cards without paying the cost. Uh, so you can play a level 3 out from the, this Digimon's uh, own stack. Or uh, if you on play this with our level 6, you're going to be able to also play out the extra level 3. The Inheritable is the same as the Mega Seedramon, so we have 6 instances of that Inheritable. Uh, and then we run 2 copies of the BT11 Warrior Seedramon on play when Digivolving. We're going to play one purple or blue level 3 Digimon from one of our purple or blue Digimon's Digivolution cards without paying the cost. Uh, the extra 1 to Digivolve feels kind of bad, that's why it's at 2. Um, the Inheritable will net you 1 memory uh, if you do play Digimon by an effect, though. So... It can even itself out, um, but I do like having two copies of this card because it gives us six instances of the ability to play a level three out from our sources. So we have six ways to play a level three out uh, and six ways to get this inheritable underneath our stack. Then we're going four copies of the big blue bird itself uh, on play and when digivolving, you're going to place up to three of your other blue Digimon as this Digimon's bottom Digivolution cards, then return all of all other level four or lower Digimon to the hand for each Digivolution card this effect placed, add one to this effect's level maximum. 
Uh, then your turn, when an effect adds to this Digimon's Digivolution cards, you may play one level 5 or lower Digimon card with Aqua or Sea Animal in one of its traits from this Digimon's Digivolution cards without paying its cost. Um, so important to note, you bounce all Digimon, not just your opponent's Digimon, so you can accidentally bounce uh, stuff that you don't want to, so be aware of that. Uh, but ideally, we would go into a level 5 that plays us a level 3, and then go this on top, so we should be able to bounce all level 5 or lowers uh, off the board, um, and then be able to play out a... Uh, level 5 from this card sources and do fun stuff with that. So uh, fun fun boss monster and it does what it wants to do pretty well. Then we have two copies of Vikemon Ace. On play and when digivolving we're going to de-digivolve two on one of our opponent's Digimon. Then none of their Digimon with one or fewer Digivolution cards can suspend until the end of their turn. When attacking we're going to delete one of our opponent's Digimon with one or fewer Digivolution cards. Uh, this Blue level 6 Blast Ace is just really, really good synergy uh, with our Zhang Pengmon, uh, because we're going to play out a level 5, uh, ideally. Uh, we should have a target to be able to Vikemon Ace on top of, and that's just uh, good for us. I am running two copies of Blitz Omni, uh, when, when Digivolving, unsuspend this Digimon, uh, and then it has protection. The reason I like this card is because we have Inheritables that are going to let us get extra checks in, uh, and sometimes people just aren't ready for you to be able to pull off three checks uh, with our boss monster in one turn, uh, and that's just really, really powerful to be able to do. Depending on how you stack your sources, uh, it's possible that you can get uh, Mega Seedramon uh, and Juan Kunmon in the same stack, and if your board is wide enough, you can, you can just end the game real quick with nobody expecting anything, so... Uh, I do feel like this is a powerful card in this deck. You can also run Aegisdramon, that's totally fine. Uh, this is just what I've been running, and it feels all right. Then we have one copy of our Ice Wall. Well, all of your Digimon, your opponent's Digimon gain when attacking, lose two memory until the end of their next turn. It's a good way to stop yourself from losing the game, uh, or conserve some security if you don't have a better play. Then I'm going two copies of Sea of Destruction. By placing one Digimon card with Aqua or Sea Animal in one of its traits from your hand as one of your blue Digimon's bottom Digivolution card, return all of your opponent's Digimon with the same level as the placed card to the hand. Uh, so this is a great way to trigger uh, the Zhang Pengmon card being added to its sources. You're going to bounce all of your opponent's Digimon with the level of what you tuck underneath. So if you tuck a level 5 with this, you're going to bounce all of their level 5s. Uh, and then because of that, you can actually play out a level 5 off the Zhang Pengmon, uh, which feels really, really nice as well. Four copies of Mental Training, just because it's the best search package in this color. Uh, and then two copies of Davis Motomia. Yes, this can whiff Blitz Omni. Uh, that does suck, but it is a memory setter, and it will find us a blue piece. Uh, so I'm willing to deal with that. So that is it for my Zhang Pengmon deck profile. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Let me know what you guys are doing with this boss monster. Uh, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day.